Let's talk about the area under a curve. Hereby, I've drawn up the straight line 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. You see across to the x-axis at 3, the y-axis is 6. I want to find the area under this curve between x equals 0 and x equals 3. Now, I already know how to do that problem with algebra, just using the formula for the area of a triangle, but I also want to do it with integration so we can see that our results with integration match the results we already know. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go out to some point x on the x-axis. I'm going to go up to the curve from there, and so that will get me to the point x, y. And then I'm just going to draw in a little test rectangle here that looks like this. Now, I go out to the point x on the x-axis, then the width of that test rectangle is just going to be some little thickness I'm going to call dx, very small thickness. The height of that, of course, is y, because it goes up to the um, curve from there. So I can say that this little test rectangle that looks like that, that has a thickness of, I'm sorry, that has a, an area of dA. I'm going to call it dA, which is equal to its base, dx, times its height, y. So y times dx. So that's the area of my test rectangle, and what I want to do is take this test rectangle and just kind of move it from over here at x equals 0 all the way over to x equals 3, add up all the areas as I go, and I'll have the area under that curve. Now I'll talk more about that in a minute, but first let's actually do that. So if dA is equal to y times dx, that means that A, the actual area, is going to be the integral from 0 to 3 of y times dx. Okay, and then I see, okay, I want y right here, so what I'm going to do is um, solve this for y. So y is equal to, let's see, negative 2x on that side divided by 3, negative 2 thirds x, plus, divided by 3, I end up with 2. So there's my equation solved for y, so I'll substitute that in, and I have the integral from 0 to 3 of negative 2 thirds x plus 2 dx. Okay, and that's pretty easy to integrate. I'm just going to integrate it as negative 2 thirds times, when I integrate x, I get x squared over 2, plus 2. When I integrate that, I get 2x. And then I want to take that and evaluate it between 0 and 3. So we'll just do that. So when I substitute 3 in for x, I end up with negative two-thirds times three squared is nine halves plus two times three is going to be six minus when I substitute zero in for x that term is zero when I substitute zero in for x there that term is zero so that whole thing is zero so what do I end up with here let's see three divides into nine three times Two, two, the 2 and the 2 divide out, I have negative 3 plus 6, which is equal to 3. So the area under that curve, the curve 2x plus 3y equals 6 between 0 and 3 turns out to be 3. But now we already knew that. I can go over here and say, well, the area under this curve is just going to be 1 half the base times the height, and so that's going to be 1 half, the base is 3, and the height is 2, and so you see those divide out, and I just end up with 3. So the area that I get with integration right here matches the area that I get with just regular algebra. So now let me back up for a second and tell you what I mean when I draw this little test rectangle in here. What I mean is this. This is what the test rectangle stands for. I'm going to take the x-axis between 0 and 3, and I'm going to divide it up into and equal parts, okay? And so each of those parts is going to have a thickness of delta x. Then for on somewhere in each of those intervals, I'm going to go up to that curve and make a little rectangle, just like I did with my test rectangle. So I get all of those, and I want to find the area of each one of those. Well, I'm going to have to multiply the base times the height, and so I'll just say f of x sub i, where x sub i is just some value of x in the ith interval. So I have n of those little intervals. So I want to get an estimate of the area under that curve, so I'm going to add all these up. 
from I equal 1 up to N. That'll be an estimate of the area, and then I'm going to say I'll just let that subdivision go to infinity. So I'm going to write this as, I'm going to take the limit of this as N goes to infinity. Well, what's that? That happens to be the definition for the definite integral from A to B of f of x dx. So the definition for the definite integral of f of x dx from a to b is this limit. The limit is n goes to infinity of the sum from i equal 1 up to n of f of x sub i times delta x. Okay, so now I know that's why I can write this as an integral right here. And my little test rectangle, the little green rectangle that I drew in there, and then my saying I'm going to take that and integrate it from here over to here, means that I'm doing all of this, adding up all those little test rectangles, then letting the number of test rectangles go to infinity, I end up with the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Well, how do I evaluate that? Very simple. It's big F of b minus f of a, where f prime of x is equal to little f of x. So from here to here, that is a definition. From here to here, that's the fundamental theorem of integral calculus. So that's the fundamental theorem of integral calculus that allows me to write this integral right here as f of b minus f of a, where f prime is the, where f, big f of x is the antiderivative of little f of x. Okay, so that's kind of the theory behind what I do, but I like that test rectangle because it allows me to label everything I have, get an expression for the area that I'm looking for in terms of x and y, and then all I do is simply integrate that expression that I have from 0 to 3. Okay, so I'm going to erase all this and go back and do it the other way. I'm going to make my test rectangle horizontal and show you we get exactly the same thing. So hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've erased everything and drawn my curve up here again, 2x plus 3y equals 6. So this time what I want to do, I want to find the same area, the area under this curve between x equals 0 and x equals 3, but this time I'm going to draw my test rectangle horizontal. So I go out to some value of y on the y-axis, I go over to the curve to get again to the point x, y. I'm going to make, take a little element of vertical length right there and make a rectangle out of it. That's my test rectangle. And so all I need is an expression for the area of that test rectangle. Well, since its width right here is vertical, that has a thickness or a width of dy instead of dx because it's along the vertical axis. The length of that test rectangle is the distance from here to here, which is just going to be x. So when I go to find my element of area, of the test rectangle, it turns out to just be x dy. And so it's x dy. I'm going to take all these little test rectangles, start down here, and add them all up from here up to here. So I'm going to integrate from 0 to 2 all these little test rectangles. That means that my total area will be the integral from 0 to 2 of x dy. So when I integrate with respect to y, I have to go from y equals something to y equals something. Now I need an expression for x, so I'll solve this equation for x. x is equal to, let's see, negative 3y plus 6, each divided by 2. So x is equal to negative 3 halves y plus 3 dy. And I'll integrate that, and I'll end up with negative 3 halves times the integral of y, y squared over 2, plus the integral of 3, 3y, and I want to evaluate that at x equals 0 and x equals 2. Let's do that. So I'll put in 2 for y right here. Did I say x? From y is 0 to y is equal to 2. I want to evaluate at those two values of y. Okay, so I have negative 3 halves times, when y is equal to 2, I'm going to have 4 over 2, plus when y is equal to 2 here, I'll have 6. And then I want to subtract from that what I get when I substitute 0 for y in both these places. Well, that's going to come out to be 0. So I end up with what? Let's see, 2 divides in there. 2 times 2 is 4. I have negative 3 plus 6. I end up with 3 again. 
So sure enough, I get the same area that I did before. I can integrate either way. Test rectangles horizontal like this from here to here, or test rectangles vertical this way from here to here. Everything is taken care of in the procedures that you use to solve for x or y, substitute back in. You're integrating with respect to y, you go from y equals 0 to 2. Integrate with respect to x, you go from x equals 0 to x equals 3. Either case, it works out just fine. So there's an introductory look at uh, finding areas using integration.